Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a brand new feature for Sonar that you're going to find with the May 2017 update, Ripple Editing. Users who have Platinum, Professional, and Artist versions of Sonar are going to be able to take advantage of this new feature. So basically, a Ripple Edit is an edit where all clips following the one you edit will move accordingly in the clip pane. This means you can rearrange sections of your song and other elements of your song will snap back together. The other cool thing about this feature in Sonar is that your automation will follow suit. In Sonar, we have two different types of ripple editing features and they are both available from the options menu in the track view. If you select ripple edit selection, you will only be affecting the track that you're working on. Whereas with ripple edit all, when you have this selected, all the tracks, all the markers, and all the meters will also be affected by your edits. Now just to visually demonstrate this, I've got these clips here. Now if we have ripple editing off, you know, anytime we move or copy and paste these clips anywhere on the track, the other clips will remain unaffected. So if I take this blue clip here, paste it in between the orange and green one here, we get this result. Now other than it looking like uh, basically some accidental piece of modern art, uh, this is not at all what we want to do. So let's just turn on ripple editing and do this process again and see what happens. Now, as you saw, when I did the same exact thing, but I had ripple editing enabled, it just moved the clip over. Another thing about ripple editing is that you can move multiple clips together without having to specifically select them. So what I mean is if I move the green clip, you'll see that the orange one also moves with it. If I go all the way over here to the red one, same deal. Everything moves. To see how you could apply this in real life, let's actually open up the session I used to record the demo song that you heard in just the beginning of this video. I'm going to enable Ripple Edit All here in the Options menu. And now let's actually, just for the sake of argument, say that this drum fill here isn't that good and we want to replace it with this one right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the section that I want to copy. And after that, obviously I'm going to copy it. So now that I have it copied, let's put it into place. I'm going to go just before the fill here. I'm going to split it and then I'll paste it in. Now we can see that when I pasted it in here, it pushed all the other tracks back by the same amount. Now if we were to play back, we would actually hear that we have, you know, the same rip and the same filler here that we don't like, and now we just, we need to get rid of them. Well, that's not a big deal. All we have to do here is select the tracks again, make a split right here at about half a measure, and you know, watch closely. When I hit the delete key, all the tracks will automatically move up to take the space. Now if we were to hit playback, we would hear that everything sounds as it should. As you can see, ripple editing lends itself to many arrangement applications and you know, you can move, cut, copy, paste, and delete, all within the ripple editing feature. Now on a personal note, I've worked on many songs where I realized well after I'd recorded the parts and been working on it for a while that, hey, I'd really like to make an intro to this song. Well, even in the case of just, you know, this session of 15 tracks, it would be really annoying to have to zoom all the way out, make a big box selection, zoom all the way back in, move the tracks manually, and then, man, it'd be really annoying if you realized you didn't move your tracks far enough to give yourself enough space for an intro, wouldn't it? Well, thankfully, with Ripple Editing, not a big deal anymore. Just click any clip, click and drag for days and days and days. Now, let's say that you're trying to master some tracks and your client keeps giving you the runaround about the order of the tracks. You know, one day he wants to tracks in this order, then that order, and blah 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 order. And anyone who used Sonar before the Ripple Edit feature would be, well, for the lack of better words, slightly annoyed uh, by this because it, it would be a manually intensive job of having to move all the clips over and over and over again. It'd be a tough day at the office and uh, you probably would want to drink way before bedtime. This is where Ripple Editing can save the day because literally you can change your order as many times as you want without having to make a single selection or reach for the zoom key. Let's say we want this blue clip to go after the green clip. Well, control X, set the cursor over here, control V, move this clip back, boom, shakalaka, we're done. Now, obviously for demonstration purposes, I could sit here all day moving back and forth, cutting, pasting, copying, deleting, but I'm fairly certain you get the idea by now. So this pretty much covers the basics of the new Ripple editing feature that you're going to find in the May 2017 update. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.